everybody welcome to my channel my name is Carmen and this is Carmen's place where we get together to talk about all things luxury beauty luxury skincare and graceful aging I am 65 years old and I have been a skincare and makeup aficionado for a very long time and one of my favorite things to talk about is lipstick I love all types of lipstick I love all colors of lipstick and I love changing them out for the season, and so I have decided that it is goth season. It is red wine season. It is Adam's Family Wednesday reboot on Netflix season, and we're kind of bringing the 90s back with our dark lips. So just for all kinds of reasons, I went in search of the perfect plum red wine, burgundy lipstick. I've got five I'm going to show you. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. I'll be right back. Back with my first shade, which I have on. This is Sephora Rouge. It is $15. And what it says is that it is a high shine, long lasting lipstick. It has a balm like texture with intense, super pigmented shades. I think this is lovely. If you just want to play around with this shade and you don't want to make a big investment, I think this one for $15 is really nice. So I'm going to take this off and we will move on to shade number two. Be right back. Okay, so our next one is by NARS. I bought this at, I think I bought this at Ulta. Power Matte Lip Pigment, and it says it's a potent concentrate of our most powerful matte yet. Sensorial, lightweight texture applies like ink, which it does. I love how this applies um, on lips and dries down without bleeding. You guys saw me put it on so far. No bleeding. This is nice. Moving on to our next one, although I don't want to take this one off because it's so pretty but we will move on to the next one. So I came upon this idea to put foundation on to mattify my lips and give the lipstick something to cling on to. So I also bought this lip pencil from Ulta. This is Maybelline. I'm gonna go ahead and line our lips with this because now we're using a bullet going to be using the Lisa Eldridge and it's not as precise. Now we're going to go in with the Lisa Eldridge Velvet Matte and this is in the color Velvet Midnight. This one would do well with a lip brush because it's a little fat. Need to see that one. It's a little chunky, so it's a little hard to be precise with it. But let's take a look and clean this up. Yeah, I feel like this one's a little more labor intensive to get it in the lines. But overall, I think it's very pretty. Lisa says, Paint your lips as an artist would with these highly pigmented True Velvet lipsticks. These matte lipsticks revolutionized with a saturated Technicolor formulation and a creamy texture with a slight sheen that's 3D and luscious, not a flat matte. 
So intensely pigmented, it's easy to create either a one swipe graphic lip statement or gently pat for the ultimate subtle lip stain, silky and comfortable to wear. Oops. But here we go. So again, this is Lisa Eldridge and this is Velvet at Midnight. All right, we will be back with number four. I have my lips primed. I don't think I'm going to line them this time. I am trying the new Christian Dior, my favorite brand. I love you, Lisa, but Christian Dior is still my favorite. Um, this is their new Rouge Dior Forever Night lipstick. It is non-transferable. That is so awesome. So I'm gonna do a test on my wine glass to see if it is really non-transferable. So here we go. I primed my lips with the Fenty Soft Matte. And this is the color Forever Night. We have definitely gone to the darkest side. This is definitely the darkest shade that I have. Um, I'm gonna put a picture up here for you only on the Dior site. They have a more plummy one that's a little more red, a little less black. Um, so I ordered that, it's the same formula. Shade Darling. This, I like the fact that it's not transferable. It's a little intense. Um, <laughs> little little dancing but you know I could go there um, but let me read you a little bit about this it says Dior innovates with Rouge Dior forever the first transfer proof Dior lipstick in a bullet format ultra pigmented for intense color and concentrated in floral lip care it ensures 16 hours of wear without compromising comfort it says that this will not budge so we're going to do a test to see if it budges or not. We're going to take a sip of our wine. It actually does match this wine pretty well. So let's see. I've had it on for a little bit now, so let's see. Hmm. Not bad. Let's try one more sip. Wow, I'm impressed. So I'm liking this formula. This might be a little dark. So because it's a little dark, for our last segment, we are going to pair this with the liquid Dior in a more red color. So I've come up with a nice combination that's still transfer proof. And I also got to try the other formulation, the liquid transfer proof formulation. So. I will show you that in a moment. I'll be right back. Last one is an add-on. It's a beautiful color in and of itself. So I thought this would be a nice color on its own, but I also thought this would be a good color to brighten up this look. Get me a little closer to the plummy burgundy look that I was going for. So we're gonna put this on top. They actually do pair well together. Just brightens it up a little bit. It is the Rouge Forever Liquid. And this color is 959 Forever Bold. Um, and it's their first ultra pigmented liquid lipstick that doesn't transfer in vibrant ultra matte colors with optimal coverage and striking color the liquid lipstick won't settle into lip lines, fade, smudge, or feather. So I'm gonna let this dry for a second. I'll be right back and we're gonna try our glass test. Okay. Hmm. Not bad. Let's try one more sip.
pretty good staying power. I like this formulation. Okay, if I had to pick a winner, the winner would be the NARS. So I'm going to go back and show you the NARS one more time and then we'll wrap it up. All right, we are going to do the sip test on the NARS. The NARS did not pass the sip test as well as the Dior, but I think it's very pretty. I am so glad that you joined me. I hope your new year is off to a good start. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, ring the bell for future content, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.